Zack has Down syndrome which causes him to act like a kid. He asks for a pudding cup during mealtime, and gives it to an elderly patient, plus a drawing that Zack made which appears to be a plan. The old lady gives him a thumbs up and goes along with it. A girl named Eleanor is seen talking to an old man who asks her for a refill. She gets up and goes to Zack to appreciate his kindness of sharing pudding and being cordial. After eating the pudding, the old lady pretends to be falling ill, which gives Zack a chance to make his move and run away. Eleanor, who is also Zack's caretaker, successfully manages to catch him. The windows outside Zack's room are secured with metal plates, where he is happily looking at an old tape while blowing the dust away. Zack is sharing his room with an old man. He is also a huge fan of the wrestler known as the Saltwater Redneck, and it is his dream to become a pro wrestler. He watches an ad for Saltwater Redneck's wrestling school in Aiden. Eleanor then comes in and shows Zack his drawing, asking if this is how he asked the old women to pretend to be choked so that he could flee. He states that he is staying there for two and a half years with an old man, so he had to devise a plan to chase freedom. She makes him understand the situation and compels him to behave in an amicable manner. She also tells him that his privileges have been revoked, since this is his second attempt at an escape, so Eleanor has to label him as a flag risk. Tyler is seen catching crabs in the river. Later he returns right after seeing an armed person in the boat a little far away. He is then seen removing scales of fish while an old man comes to him. He is very disappointed at him for the crab boxes, which he took without owning them and fires him from the job despite knowing that he needs the position. Tyler then walks outside and sits near the river bank. The old man comes and consoles him, instructing him to stop illegally catching the water species. Tyler misses his late brother Mark, and the old man pacifies him by saying that his brother is proud of him and is constantly looking at him from the heaven. Tyler, while weeping, remembered the time when he went hunting with Mark. At night, while Zack is watching TV, a supervisor comes and announces the bedtime. Later, as everyone has fallen asleep, Carl is seen pushing those iron plates aside, facilitating Zack in his quest to be freed. He provides soap to Zack, which can make him slippery and easier to pass through. Zack has now successfully escaped and is also very happy. He runs as fast as he could. He eventually reaches the dock where Tyler works. He watches him being beaten by the men who owns those crab pots. They both then warns him to not catch crabs or fish again and ask him to evacuate the site while Zack is hiding in the boat under cover. On the other hand, Eleanor is shocked by seeing the bends in the window and asks Carl about Zack. He lies for knowing nothing until she is called by Glee in his office. Tyler cleans himself, lights a cigarette, showers gasoline over crab pots, and sets them on fire. Those men named Duncan and Ratboy come out running while he elopes in the boat and tries to escape while they both chased him. He manages to hide his boat in the grass. Tyler then discovered Zack also hiding with him and puts his hand on his mouth. The men, at last, left the area. Eleanor is scolded by the manager, and he orders her to find him. Tyler plans to head off on his own, and Zack follows him. He begins to annoy Tyler by calling his name out repeatedly and asking him a bunch of questions, while also continuously mentioning his love for wrestling. Eleanor watches Zack's favorite show to find clues and the places where he could have went. Tyler takes a lift from a truck and leaves Zack by a lake to ride with someone else. He is told by the truck driver about the fire at docks. He tells him that the fire got out of hand and the owners are finding the instigator. He further reveals that there is a check post in the way, looking for that man. Tyler gets worried and leaves the truck by stating that he forgot something behind and goes back to the point where he had left Zack. Zack is being harassed by a kid who is trying to make Zack jump off the high dive, even though he cannot swim. Tyler orders the boy to stop, but he pushes Zack off. Tyler punches the boy in the face and then jumps in to pull Zack out of the water. Later he explains that the wrestling school where Zack wants to go comes in the way of Florida, where Tyler is headed towards. So he plans to take Zack alongside him. Eleanor kept on looking for Zack in the nearby areas. She visited many places and provided her card to everyone on the way to contact her if they found Zack. Duncan and Ratboy are also on a hunt, inquiring about Tyler. While going through a field, Zack asks Tyler if they can walk on the road, making him angry. He then tells him a story from his childhood, when he got injured while hunting with his brother, and advises Zack to stay quiet. Zack tells him about his condition, but Tyler doesn't care. They stop near a gas station to get some essentials while Zack stays back. The generous owner shares his beer with Tyler and suddenly Eleanor comes in. They both stare at her and the shopkeeper admires her beauty. 
She shows them Zack's picture and asks if they have seen him. Tyler lies and does not clarify his answer. He asks for her name and number, but she leaves. Later on, Tyler gives Zack his boots and bags and asks him to carry them and to not slow him down. Their journey continues and as they cross the river, Tyler tied up Zack with all his bags to make him float. Suddenly a big ship shows up. Tyler applied his full force to pull Zack away from the ship and falls to the ground tired. Zack carries on and asks Tyler to join him. Now the situation changes as Tyler carries the stuff and follows Zack. They took a break on the river bank where Tyler teaches Zack swimming. They spend the night under the sky where they go heart to heart about their inside goodness. Zack says that he wants to be a bad guy because his family left him. He is incompetent because his coach and teachers said so. Tyler attempts to change his negative self-perception and calls him a good guy. Upon Zack asking about who are bad guys, Tyler tells him that Duncan and Ratboy are bad. When Zack shares with Tyler that he is a good guy, he thinks of his pub nights and the accident that happened as he dozed off while driving which killed his brother. Moreover, they wake up under the sun where Zack shows his interest in being a wrestler and wants Tyler to coach him as he is willing to learn and become a hero. The practice begins with push-ups, balance and learning shooting. They take a break to rest and while devouring a watermelon, Tyler asks him about Eleanor and his friendship with her. They outreach the backyard of an old blind man named Jasper who opens fire at them first but later helps them. He gives Zack a bath, donates the tin ship and helps them carry on their journey calling them innocent who are lost. They bid him farewell and carried on their journey. They remember the wise words of Jasper by which Tyler starts weeping. Zack then calms him by giving him away all his birthday wishes. Tyler misses his brother Mark and hugs Zack. On the other hand, Eleanor carries on the search of Zack by visiting the adjacent areas. He reaches Jasper's residence and shows him Zack's picture. He says that he is blind and invites her into chatter. Tyler sails the boat to the bank and they light a fire. Zack gets tired during training and questions his ability. Tyler boosts up his energy, gives him an alternate name, a falcon, a uniform, and begins the practice. Zack then calls himself the Peanut Butter Falcon. He licks peanut butter, practices, drinks, and succeeds. The next day, Eleanor reaches out to them and asks Zack to come with her. Tyler appears and tells her everything about the practice and his wish. Zack gets frustrated and throws her car keys in the river. She eventually had to go alongside them on their wooden raft. He tells her that it might take a day or two for them to reach out to their destination. While they are arguing over the different approaches on Zack's upbringing, Zack puts his face down in water and takes a deep breath to control his blood sugar. He also catches a fish from the river, sorting out the lunch. They are astounded and exclaim with happiness. Duncan and Ratboy are also on the river bank. Tyler cooks fish and asks Zack about how he wants to eat it. Giving him options, he chose to have it with peanut butter. He also gives some to Eleanor so she can make a taco. They enjoy the delectable fish and do their special handshake. She asked about it and they both explain the backstory of push-ups, escaping the shrimp boat, gunshot and fire. Later they have some quality time by swimming and Eleanor is astonished to know that Zack can also swim. They enjoy the dive party in full swing. Zack calls them as his family and promises to love them for the rest of his life. At night, they dance and gossip in the midst of the river on their raft while having a bonfire. Tyler wakes up at night by hearing some sound. Ratboy and Duncan put his raft on fire and him at gunpoint on his knees. He mentions his $12,000 lost amidst the season and asks which hand fire he wants. Zack comes to the rescue by pointing a shotgun at them, forcing them to leave. The next morning, Eleanor seems upset. Tyler asks her about the tattoo on her wrist, to which she replies it is of her late husband. They chat and then goes for breakfast. Glenn calls her to know the whereabouts of Zack. She explains everything and gives the next afternoon time for an appointment. Later, the waitress serves her water, and she asks her about the saltwater redneck. She gets his address and the trio is directed to the home of saltwater redneck. Tyler approaches his front door to ask him about his wrestling school, but Clint says it's been closed for 10 years, meaning the ad that Zack saw was just an old tape. After raving to Zack, the trio start to walk away again. But Clint drives up in his saltwater redneck appearance and agrees to teach Zack some wrestling moves for fun. Zack is over the moon. Redneck gives Zack training about wrestling, teaches him the basics. Moreover, Tyler and Eleanor talk about his future plans. He plans to settle his debts, buy a boat, and live a good life in Florida. He also proposes to her a plan to visit Florida. Zack's training continues till late night, 
and he expresses his wish for a real fight, which is settled to be between him and Sam the next day. They enjoy the ride, the and Tyler motivates Zack a lot. At the wrestling venue, a man is seen reporting Tyler's presence on the phone. Zack and Eleanor get a little frightened due to the ongoing wrestling. Redneck prepares Zack and tells him the essentials. Zack is scared but Tyler pumps him up and asks him to say I got this in a way which shows that he means it. He says it out loud with his heart. Eleanor sits in the car and tells Tyler that they do not treat Zack in a special way and it might get dangerous for him. Tyler handcuffs her to the car steering and nudes out saying nobody is going to die. Zack comes out wearing a cardboard box and dressed as a falcon. Tyler cheers him up and helps him go in the ring. Audience shouts peanut butter falcon. The fight begins and after being knocked down a few times, Zack comes up stronger. Remembering Redneck's advice, he tells Sam the meanest thing that he is not invited to his birthday party. Then he puts him up in the air and throws him out of the ring, winning the wrestling match. In the meantime, Tyler is attacked by an iron rod straight in his head. Zack and Eleanor are in the hospital, waiting to hear about Tyler. Eleanor talks to the doctor, and she starts crying. Zack holds a cupcake, and he makes a wish before blowing out the candles. Sometime later, Eleanor is seen driving a car with Zack sleeping next to her. She wakes him up and shows the board of Florida, and told Tyler that they have made it. Tyler, who is resting at the back seat, puts his hand over her shoulder, and she looks towards Zack with a smile. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.